Have you ever wanted to protect your chassis? So J Concepts makes this chassis protective sheet. Uh, as you can see right here, it comes with two sheets. And uh, what you do is you actually apply it to the bottom of your chassis and it will protect your chassis from uh, the abrasive tracks that have like rocks or if you're running on a street and you have an on-road car and it's low to the ground and it's hitting the street or the pavement, uh, this chassis protector will actually protect the chassis from wearing down and it will protect the heads of the screws so that you don't have to worry about the screws actually wearing down on the abrasive surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how I apply uh, one of these sheets to the bottom of my Triple X4 and uh, this is a, a new chassis that I got and I went ahead and cleaned up uh, the screws and I cleaned up the bumpers and I'm going to show you how I apply it to the bottom of my chassis. So let's go ahead and get the uh, chassis protector out of the out of the bag and I'll show you what it looks like when you open this up. So here we go, when you open up the uh, chassis protector, they're in a clear sheet, or in a clear plastic bag, and you get two sheets inside of that uh, plastic bag. So I just need one sheet for this car, and uh, as you can see, this side is the shiny side, so this is what's actually going to be on the bottom of your car. And then once you peel away the, uh, the white paper, then that's going to be the, the sticky part is on the back. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the edges of the paper of the protective sheet itself and I'm going to line it up to where I'm going to stick it on the bottom of the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the edge, the straight edge, and that's going to go along the straight ed edge of the chassis. And then I'm going to line up where I want the back to stop. So I'm actually going to want the back to stop about there on the edge of the uh, bumper and then make sure you have it lined up here and then what you can do is you can actually make a rough cut of where you need to go around the rest of your chassis so I'm going to do that now so I started with one side and what I did is I I lined it up with the edge of the chassis right here and then I cut from this corner up to where it's going to stop up here so I'll show you that right there. So this corner right here, and I cut it all the way up to the corner of the, the bumper where I'm going to actually stop. And then I did the same thing on the front. And now I'm going to do the other side, and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. So now I have the rough cut, um, cut out of the shape of the, the chassis here. I, I found it a little easier to take an extra chassis I had for this car and actually set it down and uh, trace that to cut it out. And I found that a little bit easier to use. Um, you could also use a marker and go around the edge of the car and uh, just cut along the line of the marker. Um, or you could even hold it up to the light because it is see-through and you could cut with scissors uh, using the light shining through um, the edge of the chassis. But I used a, an extra chassis I had laying around and, and just uh, used it for the edges. Um, so now that I have this rough cut, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place it onto the car itself. And then I'm going to start to trim up and uh, get it a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to start trimming along these, these edges and get it to actually fit onto the bottom of the car now. So I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done with that. So I have the uh, clear plastic and I'm laying it down right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push out any bubbles I get and I'm going to get it lined up exactly where I want. And then I'll go ahead and trim up these areas where you see the extra. And then uh, once I've done that, then it should be uh, almost done.
just take your scissors and and go around the edge just like you would trim a like an RC body or or anything that you're using body scissors with Oh, and I was telling you about the uh, holes on the uh, chassis itself on this car specifically. Well, what I can do is I can take a piece of the uh, chassis protector I didn't use and cut off, and I could actually create that uh, shape and then just stick this on that, and that way there's no uh, sticky side up and you won't get the dirt on there. And to do that little piece, I'm just going to use my old chassis again. and. Uh, I got a little marker here and I'm just gonna mark it out and then I'll cut out that shape. So I ended up cutting out the the little pieces for the battery slots and I also did the one for the motor um, so I'm just showing you how to place those in there. They're uh, pretty sticky so a little tricky sometimes. I just put it right there. Make sure you don't have anything. I have a little piece of something right there. So I just put it down. Let it fall right in. And just push it down on there. There you go. And I, I've already done uh, three of them and then I'll do the rest of these. And then like I said I already did the motor so so there we go, I uh, went ahead and trimmed up all the edges around it and I've got it um, all stuck down the way I like. Um, now if you wanted to, uh, some cars still have these nickel metal uh, holes for the batteries. Um, I'm actually going to leave them covered. Now the dirt will stick to this side of them on the on the inside but that's fine if, if there's dirt on there. Um, I will also leave the uh, motor hole uh, covered because I don't have any problem with the motor overheating. Um, if you do, you may want to cut that out, but um, mine, I, I like to have the whole thing sealed up on the bottom, so I'm going to leave those um, like they are. But uh, what this will do, uh, the reason I do it on this car is because this is a graphite chassis, and the graphite chassis will actually wear a lot faster than like an aluminum or a plastic chassis, um, and this will protect not only the chassis itself from the track but it'll protect all the heads of my screws so I won't have to go through and replace the screws more often like in the back here where the chassis will slap a lot you'll get the screws that will wear out and you'll actually have to go through and replace them um, because of that but yeah this is the uh, J Concepts chassis protector and uh, I just wanted to do that short video to show you guys what it is and why I use it